Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Not 90 Degrees Hudson, Wisconsin, for this afternoon's regional final girls soccer match between the Wausau West Warriors, say that 10 times fast, and the Hudson Raiders, bringing you the game as always. Chuck Bublitz joined, as always, for the, I believe, second to last time, the greatest mind in the history of broadcasting. <laughs> Brian Mose, how you doing, Mr. Mose? Oh, that's high praise, uh, but I'm doing well. It's nice to not be in triple digit heat. So right. uh, I'm feeling good for this regional final. Right, and uh, we've got Adam Tilson, as always, masterfully manning the machine, which brings us the beautiful pictures and scenes. For those of you joining us, tape delayed. So happy Sunday, YouTube Nation. It is a number one seed Raiders team hosting the five seed Warriors. Hudson got here by defeating Superior seven to one the other night. On Wednesday, Wausau played at DC Everest. The four seed upset them in penalty kicks. So uh, I think they have established for themselves and for the region here, they are capable of pulling off the upset. What do you think their chances are of doing it today, Mr. Mose? Well, I wouldn't bet on them, but I feel like if you have enough confidence to beat a quality squad like DC Everest, a great program when it comes to soccer on the road and upset them, uh, you know, in penalties, uh, I think for Hudson, it's a matter of taking care of business when the competition gets tougher. Uh, I'm definitely a bit biased as I go to the school and I've been calling soccer games with you for a few years now, but uh, it, I definitely wouldn't rule Wausau West out. But man, once you face a one seed like Hudson that's up at number two in state rankings, it's gonna be a tough uh, upset to pull for the Warriors. Yep, so we're looking, I think Hudson would obviously like a fast start, just put a goal or two in the net mm -hmm. and really make Wausau have to chase the game. Wausau's probably looking to just make it, keep it close and uh, play for that late goal, play for that set piece, play for those penalty kicks. They've shown they can do it. And we are underway, Wausau with the ball going from your right to the left. They're wearing white, number 22 there on the ball, Alexi White. Some early possession for Wausau, a little bit of pressure here from the Raiders. Lauren Chuckle continuing the pressure and looks like it's gonna be a giveaway here. Stella Duffy, oh, really, really, Good defending there, got a little bit lucky, I think, as Stella, I think, just stumbled over the ball a bit. And here comes Jillian Brown now, having one back possession for the Raiders, maintaining it. Picks her head up, looking to slot it through, finds Avery Mertzak, and she's running at the goal, which she loves to do. Cuts back past one and just a little bit too far. Excellent job defending there. Jordan Stoker clears it out for a Raider throw-in. Really good chance early there for Avery Mertzak in a game that looks like it's going to be a lot tighter than a lot of... Uh, games that Hudson has played earlier on. Usually they're allowed to play in space with the competition that they've had this year, but Wausau West is looking to play and play them tough. Yep, yeah, and you could see not only with when Stella tried to win the ball there, but then also when Jillian had that possession, there was a lot of really physical pressure there. Love to see that from the Warriors, and it's gonna test the Raiders for sure today. Here comes some pressure now. Number 13, Kayla Ma Oliver, the forward, pursuing, putting on some pressure, forcing an errant pass from Quinn Williams. Good work there from the senior it's quite the um quite the young squad actually a number of sophomores starting mm -hmm. for wasa west and we have a ball person today which is a huge couple plus. of them actually yeah. mertzak now looking through for duffy slides through the two defenders but a good job kind of just delaying and deflecting by names there preventing stella from just running through them both cleared out throw in raiders i mean we've done i think at least one Raider game where there's already a goal on the board at this point in time. So <laughs> good job surviving a minute 54 here by uh, Wausau West. Yeah, good physical play, especially along the side or the, kind of the edges of the pitch. Duffy looking to cross it in or maybe have to take a deflection in the end. It's a goal kick for Wausau. The uh, real tragedy of the day is, is not the weather here. It's that I drove a different car and left yeah. the binoculars. So my, and I wear my sunglasses because it's so nice and they're no yeah. prescription. I'm not gonna have a clue who's coming in. So <laughs> hopefully they do a nice job and like turn around and like. Gonna have to squint. Yeah. I'm relying on your young eyes, Mr. Mose. Well, it's nice that Wasa West has black numbers on yes. these kids. Yes, initially won by Ross and then given away. My Oliver looking to play a quick ball and there's just nothing there, unnecessary. Wolf Graham in the middle. Nicely, nicely won there, and then Laney's got some time and space, closed quickly, she goes to win the ball. Looking into the corner, too, too far, far for yeah. uh, Grace Lewis. Not starting Kendall Ross, unsure why. Typically has started in the middle of the de defense basically the whole year, so I'm not sure if she took a knock or something else is going on. 
but uh, it's Quinn Williams and Matty Wolfgram in the middle of the defense for the Raiders. So tight marking here, mostly by the Raiders on the Wausau players for a short goal kick. So we'll see if, if the defender here's got the leg to get it up and over. And she finds Aubrey Ross, first time off her thigh, right to Grace Lewis, plays a first time pass to Avery Mertzak in the good box, move. takes a shot, knuckling. Pretty good strike, but just yeah. got under it a little bit more than she, I think, wanted to, was looking to really drive that and float it a little bit more. So it's going to be another goal kick opportunity. Sliding over. You can see the Raiders kind of on that side. They're marking everybody tightly on the far side. They're kind of letting it go. And again, it's been a great strategy here early on those uh, restarts as Hudson has won two consecutive ones through Aubrey Ross. Oh, a lovely little turn there. Now dribbling, looking to get past Stella Duffy. Fouls called. Free kick, Wausau West. So I like, uh, I don't know if that's some advanced scouting there, but the way that the Raiders have played the restart goal kicks on Wausau West mm -hmm. has been quite effective here early. Yeah, great positioning. It allows your really good players to get out in space like that. Merzik with a couple of good chances, and that last one was a good strike, just too high. Right. Another foul here. Looks like a little bump on the back of number 21, Allison Rosh by Ross. So we've got the uh, second consecutive free kick here for the Warriors. The winner of this game, of course, advancing to the winning the region, advancing to the sectional semifinal to be played this uh, coming week on Thursday. Actually, I should check that because the WAA looks like they had some different game dates because Wausau actually played Wednesday instead of Tuesday like Hudson, which typically those games are all on the same, same day. Mm -hmm. Grace Lewis pressuring. Her pressure wins a throw in. Good job there from Grace, just forcing the defender to play it out. Even better job by the ball person to uh, get Noel Wisty the ball quickly. I've just Avery been handed uh, some insider, oh. insider information. It was because of a storm. Oh, That's it was why. because of a storm. <laughs> Uh, well, it's probably because we have master meteorologist Dave Dahl here. Great turn and shot by Avery Mertzak. Lovely save. Oh, or is that because we have our science teacher, Mr. Chuckle? Yeah. You teach science at the middle school, right, Chuckle? <laughs> yes. Shot on goal for the for the uh, Raiders, rather. Oh, that's through one. Avery. That's one. That's one. Count it. <laughs> For those of you just joining us, I am a graduate, 1997, class of 97 of Brainerd High School in Brainerd, Minnesota, of course, the Brainerd Warriors. So whenever a Warriors team comes to town, my small brain struggles mightily to differentiate between the two. It's like calling a math teacher a gym teacher. It's just all legs akimbo. It's, we're, we're on the struggle bus up here. Cheese whiz. I have had no nachos there for those of you steeped in the lore of these broadcasts. Oh, really job, really good job there. Double teaming, winning the ball. Chuckle now. Takes a touch, cuts it back. And then looking for Avery Mertzak. I think she needed, was looking for someone to check there. No one checked. And now triple teaming Avery. Oh, just off Grace's foot. Just a little bit of a bad first touch, but she stays with it. Fights back, wins it. Now Avery Mertzak with time and space. Dribbling at three. She has Stella. Takes a little bit of a shot far post. I like that they're testing the goalie early, frankly. Let's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, make her get her body behind the ball, make her hold on to it, and just let her know that she's not going to be able to turn off for just a second. Well, and that's one thing Hudson's been able to do well kind of all year. I don't think they'll get as many opportunities at net as they've had lately, but peppering kind of the goalie and getting them uh, kind of weak to start and get some good shot, get some good chances if I can just finish my sentence. <laughs> Hope looking to build a good chance here are the Raiders. Good tackle. Excellent job defending there. And now looking to build out of the back. It's shut down by Wisty. Take your space, Noel. No, I don't know if we need to shoot from that far. See, this is my, that's my fault. <laughs> my bad. But, you know, in a, in a playoff game, I'll take being a little, a little aggressive and, and taking some shots versus trying to dribble it in the goal the whole time. You just wanted to be on frame quicker. Yep. A bit of a soft shot. Which, again, the, the shots have been on frame, so yep. that's great. Retreating are the Mertzak sisters, nearly each nearly winning it. And then Jillian Brown with a foul. They've called what, three fouls here on the Raiders just from some, some physical defending from behind. Um, see how they adjust to that. So far, it's been pretty far out and, and not very dangerous positions, so that's okay, but something to keep an eye on here. Restart. Abby Carlson, alert on her line. Staying back. Stepping up to initially win it is Williams, but it rolls off her foot in a bad way and then sliding it through. Nobody running onto it. Welcome to the game, Abby Carlson. Welcome to the game, Abby Carlson. 
as she's, uh, I'm sure, celebrating her Dutch heritage with the Euros going on. <laughs> wow. I don't actually know if she has Dutch heritage. What a boot. Give her the boot. <laughs> Stella, turn it down. on. Keep it in. Yes, Stella. Oh, unable to do so. And it's going to be, it looks like a goal kick here. So, frankly, I think, given the way that those first two went, that's an advantage for the Raiders. Mm -hmm. Got uh, some good, some Raider yeah. alum here. Got some fans. Got some family. Good crowd. Great day to be at the field. Lovely weather. Fans cheering the Raiders on. The concession stands open, serving all sorts of delicacies. It's a wonderful place to be. Now they, oh, it was a throw-in. My apologies. I misread the officials. Got a couple signal. Uh, three subs here. Well, we get in. 12, That's maybe 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, and then who's the one? All or 19, the way down is there? that 19 up top? 19, then 19, 10, and who is that all the way over there? Three, can't see. One fighting with Stella. Picked up the ball right there. Okay, yep. So we got one more. See if she turns around. It's a double digit number. Yeah, so we'll just go 19 and 12, or 10, anyways. Checking into the game at the last stoppage for Wausau number 10, Emma Steinbach, and number 19, Sabrina Ramos. Okay, here comes Wausau, looking to build out of the back. Lovely pass to release. Maddie Wolfgram steps up, and now we've got a two-on-one opportunity. Great one-two pass. Numbers for Wausau. What can they do with it? They've got someone wide open at the far post. Pressure from Brown forces a little bit of an errant pass. Really good recovery there from Jillian Brown. Hudson was in a bad way. If I'm Wausau, I'm looking for an earlier cross, far post, big switch, and they are in on goal. As it is, corner kick for the Warriors. Early opportunity for Wausau. Just fantastic one-two pass yeah, right there on the far side. Yeah, Best chance for Wausau in the 10th minute here, or about to enter the 10th minute. 11th minute. Near post, bunch of bodies in front, going to the ground, turning, looking to just clear it up and out. That was dangerous Make and tricky. Make a run tricky. for it. Make a run, run for it, Grace. Grace. Run, Grace. Go, 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 run, go. Grace. Find Stella. Stay on side, Stella. Oh! Uh, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She did not stay on side. That was a good call. She got an NC right there. It's like she can't have that that, that straight up and down yeah. run. She's got to kind of run, make her run diagonal along the defender so that she stays on sides. And then because she's in, she doesn't have to get 10 or 15 or 20 yards ahead. She already got it. So you, you kind of run towards Grace a little bit to stay on side. And then she plays that ball through and we stay and, uh, and she's in. Um, great end to end action here yeah. the last couple minutes. Both teams with some quality chances. Another restart. One by 22 there, Allison, or excuse me, that's uh, Lexi White had won the ball initially. And now Abigail Lames passing Ooh. into the corner, I believe for Ramos and foul call. That's Jillian a lot Brown of fouls again. called on the Raiders. Yeah. Jillian Brown's gonna continue to play physical there on that far side. Yep, yep. There's another free kick this time, was at 42 yards out? Yep. Just kind of chipping it up. Jillian over her head. Bouncing in the box. Never what you want to see. Falling offsides. Offsides. And if it was onside, good job there from Quinn Williams to get her body yep. in front of it and yep. knock it out of play. Wouldn't have been a, an ideal situation with a corner kick for Wausau, but it's better than having a shot right in front right. of that. Right, right. Yeah, you just you really want to get your header or some kind of body part on that ball initially. It looks like Jillian just maybe misread it just mm -hmm. slightly, overran it. Kind of, you know, sometimes you can get caught trying to mark your player and miss the ball a little, and it looks like that's what happened to Jillian there. Up and over from Chuckle, and just nothing there. Stella was kind of looking for the ball at her feet. Lauren just played it in the space behind. So if I'm Wasa, I'm feeling good about the first 12 minutes. We've had Absolutely. some chances. Uh, who's coming in here? Is that Grace Hansen, I believe? Yep. Yep. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number 12, Grace Hansen. Yeah, I mean, Wausau West is matching Hudson's physicality. They've got some great chances on their end. Yep. Not yep. a shot on net yet for Wausau, but they've been knocking on the door a few times. It's been a nice, closely contested uh, first 13 minutes. Yep, absolutely. I completely agree. You know, Hudson's had some opportunities. They put mm -hmm. some shots on frame. Um, they've, they've looked like, you know, they, they've gotten in some positions to be dangerous. Here's another one looking for Grace Lewis. It's cut out by the defender and cleared. Cleared again, and here comes an opportunity. Oh, just ran out. I was going to say it might be an opportunity for Wausau. You know, one of the things that I, I think so often we see with um, teams that really retreat, you know, as you can see, Wausau's got 
nine of their ten field players really well withdrawn, mm -hmm. you know, just trying to limit space for the Raiders. Through, oh. touch, finish it, shoot, score. There it is. Laney from Avery, 14th minute. Goal for the Raiders! Scored in the 14th minute by number eight, Laney Mertzak. Assisting on the play, Avery Mertzak. Mertzak from Mertzak. Raiders one, Warriors zero. And that's just the breakthrough that Coach Solom was looking for. Yeah, just when you think it could be a bit of a tug of war, <laughs> Laney Mertzak and company for Hudson just kind of take that early lead, something that Hudson is really, really good at doing. And here we go, another turnover and could be another chance for the Raiders. Stella Duffy carrying, Stella Duffy shooting. Mm. Really nice job by the goalkeeper to get down, get her body behind the ball and hold on to that one. Grace Lewis was lurking at the far post. So now the question for Wasso is, what do you do? You got hit. You yeah. went down. Can you recover? Well, you also got to make sure that you calm down the pace of play. Hudson's going to want to put the pedal to the metal now that they've yep. cracked the uh, scoreless tie here. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice job winning it there by Mertz, or by Wolfgram, excuse me. And then good job by Stella running back, working to win that. Passes a little bit errant and then fixing our shin guards, I guess. Um, just don't try and make good a job, Jilly. Now, fine. There. Just find feet. Just find feet. Come on. You don't need to score a goal with each pass. There's time and space. Get it to your best players and let them run a goal. Avery off to Grace. Grace looking for the cross. Deflected by the defender. Look like they've got him a little bit on the ropes here now. Mm -hmm. That was a nice job by Jordan Stocker for Wausau to just kind of continue to pursue the ball and prevent Grace from getting off a good shot or cross. Raiders getting their two-person corner set up. Chuckle standing over it. One defender out. Will they go short? Yes, they will. Avery Mertzek on the ball. Lauren Chuckle. Now shoot, Lauren. Oh, cuts it inside. Good job by the defender stepping up. I've been impressed. Number 22 has done a nice job. Lexi White. Good work. Offsides is Stella Duffy, and that's going to go oh. in. That's going to, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, she overran it. Oh, Maddie Wolfgram almost scored. <laughs> Solon puts his I, hands up. <laughs> the sigh of relief from that goalie, I'm sure, was enough to knock over a building. Well, not just her, also the Wausau fans that are yeah. a little bit toward our right there. Nervous moments for the Warriors. Jeez. It was a sub for Wausau. I didn't catch who it was. And Wausau now is really getting pinned in their own half. Not a whole lot of chances after that first goal in the following couple minutes. Yep. Who is it, the sub that came in? Was it the midfield or? Uh, I think so. Is it 16 maybe there? Sophia Bell, yeah, I think it's Sophia okay. Bell there in the middle of the park. Checking into the game at the last stoppage for the Warriors, number 16, Sophia Bell. Say it with enough confidence, people will believe you. Right. Little chip Lewis over. on the ball. Oh, good great play. pass. Good run. Get there, Lauren. Oh, nice job winning the ball. And now time for Lewis. Mm. Looking for Duffy. Lucky bounce Deflected, right there. but falls to Mertzek. Great job defending and just not falling for the trick here and just playing the ball out. Wisty now with a throw in for the Raiders. 17th minute. Hudson up. Looks like we got another sub for Wausau coming in a minute. Grace Hansen, Avery, or excuse me, Laney Mertzak finds the feet of Chucklin. Oh, that turn just got away from her. Got to let her know here, though, if she's got a turn or not from the teammates. You need to have that talk. Cleared out again, number seven. Katie Meyer with the header. And now Maddie coming up after... Coach Solom called her over and or called from the sideline to have her take it. Mm -hmm. Looking for a little bit of a longer throw. This deep in their territory, it almost works like a set play, almost like a little short corner or something. Up towards Lewis, unable to get a head on it. Chipped up and over by Mertzek and then alertly off her line. Picking up the ball as a goalkeeper for Wausau. It's number 31, Kenzie Deaton. She had a good start, not much she could do on the goal, frankly. And here comes another attacking opportunity for the Raiders. Avery Mertzak lines up oh. the shot. She's closer with that one. She's gonna, yeah. she's gonna get one of those. She's yeah. gonna get one of those. There. Oh, ball's over. Into the street. Into the street. That's a first. Oh, someone just about clocked it. 
I wonder if there's I wonder if there's overtime pay. I wonder if there's overtime pay for that. And it looks like we got a substitution coming back into the game. I believe that's number six. Let's see if we got someone with better eyesight can help me out here. Is that six for Wausau? Can we see? Yes. Yeah. Checking into the game for Wausau, number six, Elizabeth Schneider. So Schneider back into the game. Chuckle on the ball. Takes her time. Turns. Picks her head up. Laney Mertzek shoots. Takes a bounce. Ball behind, or body, excuse me, behind the ball is Deaton. I, I like the Raiders' strategy here. Just mm -hmm. keep peppering it. Keep If they're going to give you those shots, take them. Now he's going to step up here. Quinn Williams and then steps back. Grace Hansen over. Looking to find Schneider. Wistie double teamed. Reacting first is Lewis. Dropping it back. Dangerously so to Williams. Oh, and then Grace just lets it go. Hansen does. Thinks she thought someone was behind her. It was just a Wausau player. Oh, great job, Eddie. Wolfgram, go, go. Now carry. Mm. Oh, God. Good job, Noel Wistie. Good job, Noel Wistie. She got ball. Good job by the, the official recognizing that, even though the Wausau player went to ground. And then quickly up by Wausau. Miss playing it is Williams, but she has the speed to burn. Charlotte Bell's the one we missed before. That's who's playing forward. I see. Avery Mertzak out to Grace Lewis. Yep, right back into the middle for Chuckle. Just a little bit too near to the defender. Got to be a little, yep, play to her feet, Coach Solemn calls. And that's good coaching, good coaching point over there. She needed that direct to her feet. Okay, we got two subs coming in for Wausau. Next stoppage. See if we can figure out who that is. Grace Hansen out to Wistie. Back to Williams. Up and over. Hanging out all the way back. There's number 11, Stalker. There's nothing happening there. And here come the subs for Wausau. Let's see who we get. Team effort here. <laughs> For you folks at home, you're probably screaming at your screen saying, turn around. Is that 12? 12 or 17, 17 here. 17, 17 and 22. 17 and yeah. 22. Checking into the game for Wausau, number 17, Landon Schneider, and number 22, Lexi White. There you go. Too heavy of a touch right there from Lewis. Yep. Tracking back is Bell to get it. Bell takes one touch and just too quick is Maddie Wolfgram playing it up ahead for Laney. Is she going to be able to keep it in? Yes, she is. And pass the defender as well. She's in, attacking the goal. She has players running, looking for the drop back. Drops it back to Duffy. Duffy with a side footed shot. Mm. Blocked by the defender and then cleared out. Jillian Brown, who picks it up, splits two. Good looking to go past to third. Able to do so, carrying into the corners, Jillian Brown, defender looking like a winger, takes a deflection, does her cross, and it's going to be a quarter kick for the Raiders. Quinn Williams coming up into the box. Man, I love the work of the ball people. They are just running. Now we just need to figure out who's going to go out and get that ball across the street. Say they're short one. If you're listening at home, this is tape delayed. Don't come driving down here to get the ball. I'm sure by the time you watch this, <laughs> someone will have retrieved it. Short corner kick taken. Oh, and the official is having them retake it, it looks like. Aus unerfindlichen Gründen. Defender was too close, was within 10 yards. I wonder if we just let them play advantage there, though. Seems like they... We're in an advantageous position. Took it real quick. Took a deflection. Yep, there you go. Looks like we've got, to, oh, is that is that Darren Chuckle over there? Man, look at Darren Chuckle go, the real MVP. You know what? I, I would write that down to good parenting, but I know his parents. So I don't know where he gets it. It must be his grandparents. Re quarter kick again here for the Raiders. Somebody down there said we got a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Darren Chuckle. Yeah. So, another short corner for the Raiders. Tacking down the line, looking to play it into the six. Takes the deflection, just too many bodies in there. Grace Hansen tried to kind of settle it and I think intelligently cleared out high, wide, and handsome by Lexi White. That was a smart play. 
In that situation, there's no careful, there's just clear. Stella now working hard, wins the ball back, drops it to Laney. Laney with one defender, crossing, looking for Grace. One, deflected down. Oh, great touch past the first one, and then just like snuck out from under her feet. Quinn Williams passed one. Elizabeth Schneider there chasing her. Quinn is able to keep it in. Good job using her body there by Schneider to just shepherd it out. It's going to be a throw in for the Warriors. What? And. That was last touch by Wausau. That, uh... Was it? Did she get a touch on? Yeah. I, oh. I thought so. Maybe it not. It looks like she just shepherded it, it out in that. Maybe. Okay, five's into the game for Wausau. Checking into the game for the Warriors, number five, Erica Schneider. So lots of substitutes for Wausau, none for Hudson. What do you think about that uh, coaching strategy? Well, I think Hudson is playing well. They haven't really allowed Wausau to breathe too much on the offensive end. It's just a matter of finishing chances for Hudson. They've got some good ones, so i definitely say keep the 11 out there that are playing well, even if there have been some kind of difficult situations with passing around the back, making plays that aren't there. I feel like this squad is doing a good job to start out the first 24. Right. I mean, they're winning 1-0, and, and truly Wausau's had a couple breaks, but really haven't had a truly dangerous chance on goal, mm -hmm. you know? They had that kind of one-two on the far side that developed, but Hudson was able to recover well yeah, enough. Yeah, Jillian Brown kind of tracked back and, and was able to prevent them from really, mm -hmm. you know, taking advantage. And I think when you're Wassa there, like I said, that that was an opportunity where I think an early switch and, and they're in clean on goal. And you, you've got to be, you got to play quick in these games, you know? Mm -hmm. Laney to Avery. Avery lining it up, shooting far post, mm. saved Deaton. Shot on goal. Step two of calls, Ooh. Coach Solom. Yeah, that's a that's a good call. The uh, Wausau player was first to the ball. Jillian Brown ran into her, and I'm wondering if Jillian keeps this up. Persist, persistent infringement is going to lead to a yellow card. The way this is going for her. Yeah, it's uh, three fouls called on her. Three now? or four, yeah. Three, mm -hmm. yeah. And she is a very physical player, but I mean, the referees have kind of been a bit no nonsense. About yeah, that. I would say there's there's some of those, a couple of those fouls are plays that, you know, Jillian's made on a regular basis, and we see on a regular basis, not just from Jillian, that are not always deemed fouls. And here comes an opportunity for Grace Lewis. Run, Grace, win the ball. Go past her, just go past her, just run past her. Good job defensively. Really well read. Willie Rowe did a nice job shielding the ball and then finding the pass, but then giving right back. Lauren Chuckle. Go, Lauren. Good turn. Avery Mertzak, time, space. Attacking the goal, shooting, far post, deflected, run Stella, run Stella. Find Stella somebody. stopped her run. If she wouldn't have stopped her run, I think she had a goal. Lauren, good job stepping in front of the defender. The pass was a little bit behind her. Stella shooting, Don't, did not really get a full connection with it, and it's going to be cleared out for a Hudson throw, and I think Stella Duffy really continues full gas. She scores there. But she had uh -huh. slowed down when the ball was shot and uh, had to react and reaccelerate. Great chance, though, for the Raiders. A couple more subs for the Warriors coming in here. Who's standing out for you today? Uh, well, I, I think one name that we talked about very early, I don't know as much anymore. It's been a lot of forwards and midfields, but uh, Aubrey Ross played really well in those first few minutes playing physical, yep. positioning herself well. And has come out since and hasn't mm -hmm. been back in, so I'm wondering if she's okay or what's yeah. going on there. But I would definitely say... Uh, oh, now the, the overlap, yep. The Merzek twins have been playing really well. Yep. Setting up chances for one another, just like there. Laney to Avery. Oh, back to Laney, well. come on. Oh, Just a little too far. Drop it back. And then... Looking to drop it back, maybe for yeah, Chuckle. Well, Come on, Grace, get there Lauren quickly first. Open at the top of the box, right yep. there. That pass just ran away from her a little bit. I wonder if Grace could have played that sooner. Stella, touch. Stella, shot. You know, it feels like Stella and and Grace Lewis are just not in the game, and and I think the ways they usually are. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's not there's not as much space uh, against this Wausau team that they're able to work with. Yeah. Usually, the usually Hudson is able to stretch out defenses, whether it's through the middle kind of out or out back to the middle. I mean, Hudson has been able to kind of do what they want. And Wassa has really concentrated play to the middle of the pitch. Yeah, and athletically, they're just obviously, they are, they're able to, to run with the Raiders and, and compete with them physically on a, on a level that not every team has been able to. Yep. We got a sub, and I don't know if we can see who's, who it is on the far side there, the right back. Right back? Yeah, right I back. Can, I can look and see. Standing if... on Stella right now. We'll see if we can figure out who that player is. Looking for a counter, put questioning the speed of Jillian Brown. Just play Jillian back, Brown safe play. answers that question. It's uh, number, it's number seven. seven yep. yep. 
checking into the game at the last stoppage for the Warriors. Number seven, Katie Meyer. And looking to check in is Kendall Ross for the Raiders. And looks like another yeah, Kendall player is as there. well. Kendall and Aubrey, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe Aubrey's just getting something to drink. Throwing for the Warriors. So in the 20th minute of play, for those of you just joining us, it's been a, an entertaining game. It's been back and forth. Both teams have had some attacking moments. Both teams have had some moments of uh, doubt, maybe, one yeah. could say. And uh, as it is, the Warriors, the Warriors, the Warriors are trailing the Raiders by a score of one to nothing. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number two, Kendall Ross. So Ross in did not start the game. Is now playing. Oh, given away from by Williams there. Nice job by Avery to just poke that away. That was a dangerous opportunity. 21, Allison Rosh was just running a goal. And again, recovering nicely. Avery Mertzek is carrying towards the line. Look, just looking to cut it back. Gives it away then. Like the first time cross, except there was nobody there. And now here comes an opportunity for the Raiders. Running a goal is Avery Mertzek looking to play Grace Lewis through. Oh, and she's in. And she's in. Balance. Let's go. Touch takes her a little bit away from goal. You know, that first touch under pressure ran away from the goal a little bit and made that a tough angle. I wonder if she can just kind of hold it there or take a second touch and try to cut inside the defender and just, you know, get at goal a little bit. Also, that was a very unlikely play to even work in the first place with that long ball there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That was in between two Wausau defenders. If it wasn't for kind of a ricochet, it yeah. wouldn't have even been a chance. And that's one of those ones as well. I think if Grace had kind of maybe seen and, and got that run going a little earlier to cut inside of the defender, mm -hmm. you know, then she maybe gets, you know, that's I think what Avery Laney's doing rather. She's playing it into that space, looking for Grace to cut inside the defender, and then she touches it past into the center of defense, and she's in on goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Avery to Hansen. Out to Lewis. Kendall Ross. Cuts. Looking to play it through to Lewis. Unable to do so. Over Grace Hansen's head. Quinn Williams pressuring. Steps in, wins the ball. But then immediately gives it back, which was then immediately given back. And now Lewis recovering. Takes one touch. Turns. She's got some time. She's got some space. Good job finding the run of Chuckle. And then, oh, she was... I think she thought Laney was going to be there. She wasn't. And now here comes Wasa, or here comes Jillian Brown. Wins the ball, and now carrying into the space. Love to see that. Gets her body between the self and the defender. Good job working back to uh, win the ball. I'll just be real honest with you. I feel like if Grace or Jillian Brown had done that to the Wausau player, it would have been a foul. Yeah, I don't really understand why that was not called. That was, I mean, even if it was trying to go for ball, you can't swipe at the Yeah, right. Is that Wistie inside. coming in here? Is that Noel Wistie? I think so. Yeah. Checking into the game for the Raiders. Number 19, Noel Wistie. Settling, Ooh. cross, that's going to, oh, <laughs> and that's going to be a corner kick, too, off of a really good shot. Heck of a shot. We're going to call it a shot. <laughs> corner kick for the Raiders, leading one nothing. 31st minute of play. They've been leading since the 14th minute when Avery Mertzak found her sister Laney for a lovely goal. They put shots on frame. They've asked questions of the Wasa defense, and, and up until now, by and large, Wasa has held firm. Lauren Chuckle, one arm in the air. It's going to go into the box. Knuckling ball, near post, cleared out by White. Another chance at it. Another corner kick. A lively Wausau bench in juxtaposition to a rather subdued Raider bench. Lauren Chuckle on the ball, drops it back to Avery Mertzek. Or excuse me, that was Laney, my apologies. Ooh. One out strongly, kept in. Great job defensively by Wistie. Oh, but she let her turn. And here comes a break opportunity for Wausau. They're cheering them on, but they just gave it right to Avery Mertzek. Not who you want to give it to. Avery waiting, waiting, baiting, holding. Such a smart play. Just really settle it down. There wasn't anything on there. Now Kendall Ross with time, with space. Playing outside back. Looks to cut it back. That was not a foul. She oh. fell over. Great job that? by Schneider to just be right there. And then gives it away. Come on, Grace. Come on, Grace. Good job, Grace Lewis. Picks her head up. Finds Williams. Williams just going big for Stella. And Stella, I think, is going to get there. Keep it in, Stella Duffy. Keep it in, Stella Duffy. Just touches it, trying to... Oh, she does two touches on it. Really nice work, Stella, to keep it in and force Wassa to play it out. Throw in for the Raiders. Over 
because of how tightly contested this one has been, at least in terms of physicality and score, this game has felt like it's gone by a lot faster than some of the other broadcasts that we've had. Now, 33rd minute already. Yeah. Avery to Wisty. Wisty with a Ooh, goal. Wow. Wisty with a goal. 33rd minute of play. That's unfortunate. Goal for the Raiders. Scored in the 33rd minute of play by number 19, Noel Wisty. Assisting on the play, Lady Mertzek. Wisty from Mertzek, Raiders to Warriors 0. That's it just, tough. Just got caught, kind of locked up there. Uh, tough spot there for Deaton to make a play on that ball that's you don't know if you should get your hands on it or go to ground. Yep. Tough spot. Yeah, that's that's just unfortunate. Checking into the game for the Warriors. Number 16, Sophia Bell. And now if you're Deaton and now if you're Wassa, hey, that's that's just a bad break. Yeah. That's a that's a mistake and they happen. And now if you're you're the Warriors, you pick your goalie up. You gotta get after it. You gotta you gotta bring the intensity, you gotta bring the energy, you gotta bring the positive attitude. And uh, you know, help Ooh. your teammate out. Because guess what? Sometimes people make mistakes, and, and, you, and you know it's a team sport, so you need a team to be there to pick you up. Yeah, up in the booth, we would know about mistakes. You know, I mean, it's all the time. I wouldn't know about mistakes, but <laughs> some people might. Ooh, bad giveaway right there. Here comes an opportunity for Wausau. Good tackle there from Wissy, or at least getting it out. Yep. It's nice not, deflection. It's not always ideal to kind of stab at it, but if you know that you can get kind of a foot on the ball. Yeah, just got in the way there. Doing so again is Wisty. Poked out, last touched by Wausau. Goal kick, Hudson. So just slightly more breathing room, although 2-0 can be a dangerous scoreline. Mm-hmm. Deaton's still staring at the ground. Hands on her hips, or hands on her knees, rather, excuse me. That's a, uh, oh, that's just tough. But the uh, sophomore's shown a lot of talent already and anticipate she's gonna play a major role in keeping her team in this game, the remainder of the game. And it looks like that can be Spencer here, Carson Spencer. I think so, I it looks like so. 14 and yep. then for Wausau. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number 14, Carson Spencer. Single digit number is that seven? seven. It's yeah. gonna be seven, I think. Into the game for the Warriors, number seven, Katie Meyer. Yeah. So Spencer in for the Raiders, Meyer in for the Warriors. Looks like uh, Aubrey Ross will be back in as well. Carson Spencer's first touch deflected there by number five, Elizabeth, Sch excuse me, not Schneider, Erica Schneider, not Elizabeth Schneider. Rushed that pass a little bit. And Aubrey Ross will be checking back into the game. Checking into the game for the Raiders. Number 15, Aubrey Ross. Throwing there, trying to fit it through some tight defense right there, but good work. Just can't finish that second pass. Yeah, ever since that, that, that honestly, it feels like that second goal took the wind out of both team sails. I mean, you could just see Noel Wissy didn't know how to react. Like, she put her hands to her mouth like she was felt bad. Yeah. And, and right, obviously, just as a, as a competitor, you know, there's a little bit of, you know, you do feel bad for her, but it, it's taken... It's taking the push out of Hudson, it feels like. Like, they almost feel guilty, like, oh, sorry, I feel bad that happened. <laughs> now we're not going to try and get after it and try and win the game. And, and certainly also Wausau is just, they need a spark. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's also like 100 degrees on the field, so there's yeah. that too. At least it's not 120 like it was a little while ago here. <laughs> Real talk. Nice turn. I've been impressed with uh, White in the middle of the park, 22. Mm -hmm. She does a nice job. Yep gave it away though it's, it's it's you know initially one of the comments I was going to make was it seemed at the start of the game Kayla Molliver who's playing center forward was doing a nice job kind of being a target and too often I see teams miss that where they, when they get the ball they're immediately trying to like counter attack over the top yeah and with the speed and athleticism of the war of the Raider defense that doesn't work mm -hmm. and so you need that target person to check back show for the ball get it let you build your attack and and it looked initially like that was happening from Oliver, and like on that last one there, there was nobody for White to pass it to. Yeah. 
and uh, coming off of the physical and really good play there from Carson Spencer. Yep. Hudson oh, gets a great job. Oh, Avery. Really nice job by Lauren Chuckle and just ran under Avery Mertzak's foot. That's okay. Another chance here. And here's Aubrey Ross now. She's got white on her. Cuts it back. Avery Mertzak. One player coming. Nobody pressuring her. Just time to turn, time to look, time to try and pick a pass out. Mm. Kind of avoiding everyone. Kendall Ross plowing into Schneider. Schneider looking to play a little one-two and doing so. She's going to get there right ahead of Quinn Williams, touching oh, a pass wow. turn, taking a hard foul. That's gonna be clock it. stopped. Stop the clock. And here comes a yellow card. That, um, that's definitely a card. Yeah, that seems fair. She got the touch pass turn. I think they would call that a professional foul. Okay, we got all sorts of subs. Let's go team. We got to lock in here. Okay. If we can look at... Yes, 22. A yellow card caution has been issued to number 22 for the Raiders, Quinn Williams. So let's see who we can get here. We've got Grace, we've got Kira, and we've got Jillian. Let's see the, if we can get the other team. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number five, Kira Young, number four, Jillian Brown, and number 12, Grace Hansen. Into the game for Wausau, number 10, Emma Steinbach. We got anybody else? Uh, 15. 15? No, no, no. 18? No, 18? it's 10. It's 10, sorry. Okay. Is it 18? I see 16 there, maybe. Did Sophia Bell? No, I think Sophia Bell was in. 21. Allison Roche just maybe came in. Maybe. Tough to tell. Just can't see from up here. <laughs> so, sorry for you folks playing at home and for you folks in the stadium. We can't see who has come into the game. So, restart for Wassa, and let's see again. That's a, that's a hard foul. Does that pick Wassa up? Does that kind of light a fire? Carlson off her line, picks it up comfortably. Little pressure. You know what we need? We need to get Aaron Moen, athletic director for Hudson High School up here, and we need to get one of those like sub just substitute boards that they use at the pros where they hold up who's coming off and who's yeah. coming on. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Aubrey Ross deflected. Wausau Bench is still lively and really urging their team on. Nice job, Kendall. Kendall quickly to Avery. Turns, time, space, carries, cuts. Slides it through to her sister, looking to get it back. Takes a little bit of a deflection. It's going to fall to Stella Duffy. Stella cuts back. Time, left-footed, cross, into the middle. Nobody there. Tracking back is Grace Hansen. Drops it off to Spencer. Good first touch by Carson Spencer. Good shot by Carson Spencer, just right at the goalie. Nice job offensively for the Raiders. So if we, you know, we'll have to see if we can get a hold of Moen and have him get a, a subboard for the soccer team. Sponsored by Tiso. Is yeah. that how you pronounce that? Some watch brand, I don't know. Tissot. Tissot? I, it's uh, not Tissot. And that, the flag is down, and it went out, and the referee deems it to have gone out over the end line, awarding a corner kick to the Raiders. I did not know that was a rule. What's went that? That it awarded. Because both flags are down. Oh, no, I'm just saying... I, the referee deemed it not to have gone oh. out over the sideline, okay, okay. which would have been a throw. And based from his perspective, I, I couldn't see it. It looked like it went like right over the corner. Okay. And so I'm just saying, he instead of a, you know, it looks like it went over the end line. Mm -hmm. Especially this deep corner is much better. Oh, what a great kick. Looking for Laney. She was looking for a little volley there. Still bouncing around, not cleared yet. Laney Mertzek on the ball. She got one defender on her back. Looking to turn, looking to get past her. Winning a corner kick. That was good defending there. Katie Meyer did a really nice job. Laney was just, you could see, she was just toying with her, waiting to see her to overcommit, looking to get by her. And uh, great defending. It did give up a corner kick, but it's better than a goal. Yep. Okay. Avery over it. Or excuse me, Laney over it. Avery take, has the ball now. Delane, overlap. A little cross, far post. Players all over the place. Get your body in front of a Carson Spencer. Oh, you got to stop that. Runs out. Cor excuse me, corner kick, my goodness. Throw in Wausau, 41st minute of play. And we're stopping the clock here. See what's going on. Looks like the side judge has stepped onto the field and has something to say to the head official. TBD. So clock stopped. Officials jogging over towards, looks like Laney Mertzek's going to get a card. And I'm not sure. I wonder if she said something or what happened here. I 
I still haven't seen anything, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't really understand. Is it an equipment thing? Oh, earrings. He was gesturing to... Is that a yellow card? That's a yellow card issued to the uh, bench here. It's to Coach Solom, I believe. Yellow card has been issued to the Hudson bench. Checking into the game. Number 21, Lauren Chuckle. So it looks like, yeah, you can see Laney's reaching up into her. She has like a cartilage piercing in, on top of her ear. She's taking it out. And uh, that's the responsibility of the coach. So I, I think technically that goes to Coach Solom. Nice job, Solom. Because it is the responsibility of the coach to ensure that his players are properly equipped and prepared. A little up, back, and uh, through for a goal kick. Yeah, Mr. Chuckle. Oh. Let's put some responsibility on because he they were told that. Correct. Yes. <laughs> right. So there's some debate up here in the press box, right? The tech, of course, the, the substitution is that Grace Check Lewis. Check into the game for the Raiders, Grace Lewis. Of course, a high school player who's played a lot of games knows what proper equipment is. However, it is in the sort of rules of the game, the laws of the game, and explained to coaches that they are responsible. And they're asked, hey, coach, is your team prepared? You know, at, at youth levels, the referee is going to check each player. Yeah. And that's after a collision, out for another Hudson corner kick. I would say the last 15 minutes, Hudson settled in just to really controlling the game. Mm -hmm. You know, Wausau's competing admirably, and in the first 10 minutes or so, it looked like they had some opportunities. Avery to chuckle, shoot. Bending far Ooh. post. Oh, it just didn't have enough mustard behind it. That was that was curling towards the far post. Nice job by Deaton. Again, she made a she had a she had a real screamer of a, an error, but has redeemed herself and done really nicely. Made good saves. She's gotten her ball body behind the ball. She's gotten in good position. She's made saves that that not all the goalies we've seen have made. Chuckle looking to slot it through. Takes a deflection to Lewis. Dropped off to Hansen. Hansen to Ross. Hudson just moving the ball around, nicely possessing well. Split him, split him. Oh, you missed it, Aubrey. Chuckle. Back to Mertzak. She's got Stella wide. Mertzak's just going to turn and shoot. Again, test Eaton, and again, Eaton's up to the uh, task. Avery wants a goal from outside the box today. Yeah. She's hungry, and I love it. So it's 13 shots on net now for Hudson. Yep. And even against, you know, tougher competition like Wausau West, they're still getting plenty of chances and peppering yep. the net like you've mentioned. Yep. You know, I see Aubrey just stuck, kind of stuck her little poke tackle in there, and what I'd love to see from her is to just step her body in front of the ball. Jillian Brown goes to ground. She looks like she's okay. Did stumble. So back to the point of what started this attack. Aubrey Ross stuck her foot in and just poke it away, and, and the Wasa defender continued, or the player kept running and then won the ball. In that situation, I want to see Aubrey put her body between the other player and the ball, and so that if that player keeps running, she knocks Aubrey over, and Hudson wins a free kick. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't, Aubrey's possessing the ball. Yeah. Much easier to say than do, though. Oh. Discla disclaimer for anything that we say. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying these are things I can do. Yeah. <laughs> nice turn by Grace. She's got Stella. Player. A little bit short, but Stella adjusts her run nicely. Keeping up her recovery one was Katie Meyer, doing a good job getting in that uh, cover position. And so clearing the ball out. In. Throw in. And we missed it. Oh, Laura, nice little turn there. Nice little touch to Stella. Stella pass one. Stella lining up the shot, deflected. Really nice job again by number 11, Jordan Stalker. She's been busy in the back of their defense and done a nice job. Avery. Dribbling, dribbling, carrying, dribbling, sliding it through. Chuckle, chuckle, pass. Oh, what a great slide tackle attempt. Oh, what a save. Oh, what a save. That's every sort of redemption for what happened. That should have been a goal. Aubrey Ross now firing it on. Oh, my goodness, Deaton. What a moment from the Warrior goalkeeper. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number eight, Laney Mertzek. You know, things all kind of work out like they're supposed to, I think. And, and for, for the one she gave up, that was what she said. That was a heck of a job by Lauren Chuckle. And a yeah. heck of a shot and a great save. Well, the thing that created chaos was after the save, it ricocheted off the post. And Aubrey Ross had a good chance. It was just kind of lifted too high. From distance, although, yeah, although right. Hudson is not uh, any stranger to those kind of shots. <laughs> oh, interesting. Uh, turned her back to... Oof. Oh, and that's got to be a foul. Yeah, yeah, that's a foul. 
She's picking her up. Good sportsmanship. Like to see that. And I like the official here because A.B. was getting after her a little bit there and kind of took her down from behind. And I like the official just kind of having that conversation, helping her calm down. Don't think it was a, you know, a, a cardable fence. Six seconds. Four, three, <laughs> two, one, zero. And uh, quicker than ever, that's the end of the first half. A 2 0 Raider lead. They look comfortably in control. What can Wasa do in the second half? We will find out after charging our mics. See you folks later. And welcome back to Raider Field in Hudson, Wisconsin, for the second half of this afternoon's regional final matchup between the Wausau West Warriors and the Hudson Raiders. After 45 minutes of play, Hudson leads 2 0 through goals from Laney Mertzek and from Noel Wistie. The first goal was a thing of beauty. Avery Mertzek found her sister Laney for a blistering shot into the back of the net. The second goal was, I think, the strangest goal we've seen in a while, Mr. Mose. Yeah, I mean, it was a really awkward shot. Oh, I, mean, I, I don't even think it was Is a shot. Is my mic on now? Okay, yeah, I turned it off, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, it was a very awkward shot. It bounced up. It was kind of like an infielder misreading a ground ball. It just yeah, took a really it was bad Buckner. Hop, yeah. It was, oh my God, it was Bill Buckner is what <laughs> it was. Buckner. I mean, it did, it, it, it was just like a, a, a looping cross. Yeah. And, and the, there was no pressure on the goalie and she just, it just let it bounce right between her legs. Yeah. And uh, great kick there from, uh, I believe it was Noel Wistie, right? Yep. Yeah, it yeah. was Wistie who, uh, I mean, regardless of whether or not it, you know, quote unquote, should have gone in, she still put it, you know, in. Right. You know, yeah, put it in a dangerous spot. Yeah, dangerous spot. As the referees will signal both teams to come out. <laughs> Since the, the horn sounded a solid minute ago, and they're just all hanging out. You know, it's just a nice time to bond mm -hmm. on the bench, in a circle. Well, I think a major part of this game, too, is that, I mean, I've mentioned that it's been tightly contested. I think the better term for it has just been more tight than games that Hudson has played. I mean, it's still 14 shots on net to zero, and yep. that's not to say that Wausau hasn't been playing well. It's just... It's a five seed coming into a one seed territory, a one seed that is ranked number two in the state, I believe, or around kind of that top three area. It's a tough task to come uh, into Raider Field and knock off Hudson. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think any team has really been up to the task, at least none of Not them yet. that we've broadcasted. And Not this year. It's uh, It's been good for the Raider girls squad here, and it's looking to continue as the competition gets tougher. They have uh, kind of played up to the challenge. I feel like some things that Hudson might need to work on, though, is making sure that they're not forcing plays. Make the play that's there. Mm -hmm. You know that you have probably more talent than the other side on most occasions, but you don't need to, you know, force anything. Right, right. And uh, Hudson's Hudson's had opportunities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, Deaton, despite struggling on the goal, has made a lot of a number of really good saves and mm. done played the position well. And that was just one of the 14, and, you know, she's had 12 saves besides the two goals, and some of them have been very impressive, like you've mentioned. Yep. Yeah, and, and so, you know, she's got a role yet to play in keeping her team. And, you know, speaking of other impressive players, White there, number 22, has done an yep. awesome job, I thought, for the Warriors. Yeah, she's done a good job of kind of, you know, facilitating play through the middle of the pitch when Wassa has had chances. Oh, slotted through. Oh, I thought she had her. Thought thought Laney had found Avery there with a little through pass behind the defense. And those are the those are the areas that really um, Hudson's going to have to, I think, take advantage. There's just times where Wausau, you know, they, they get compact defensively and they have skill and uh, physical ability to, you know, make it really difficult to score when they're packed in and not just because of body numbers. Oh, good job, Grace Lewis. Keep it up. Safe play there back to Deaton. Yeah, alertly deflected there, cut off by Katie Meyer, and then Deaton off her line quickly. And then you also notice Katie Meyer kind of shielded the ball there as well mm. and, and kept mentally focused to prevent Grace Lewis from sneaking in again and getting another touch on it. Wow. That was a heck Moon of a boot. Shot. Right? Kendall Ross now playing outside back today. And speaking of moonshots, uh, congratulations to both the softball and the baseball teams. Plenty of home runs were hit in their uh, conference championship games. So yep. lots of power between those two squads and another mark for the class of 2021 and their great athletics run. Yeah. And it's not just them, but definitely some of the top players on these squads have been from the senior class. Yep, absolutely. A little too far there. A little too ambitious. Yeah. Deaton on the ball, and you know, Wausau, despite being down 2 0, the, the team spirit has been high. The bench is loud, the bench is up, they're cheering them on. And here comes a break opportunity. Find it, find it. She's in. Here comes Schneider, Elizabeth Schneider, first touch, takes a second touch, shoots, deflected by wow. Carlson, cut down the angle. 
That was the chance for the Warriors in this game. And Abby Carlson, uh, definitely nice that she isn't vertically challenged in that goalie spot. She needed <laughs> all of her frame to make that stop. What a beautiful counterattack. Mm -hmm. Really nicely done. And Schneider had Kendall Ross on her the whole time. Took a couple touches, held off the challenge, put a shot on frame. But uh, Carlson got off her line, made herself big, and made it tough to score. And now deflected out, but not very far mm -hmm. by Wistie. Now cutting back, turning, poked away by Mertzak. Double team, triple team, all the forwards coming back. Those senior leaders working hard defensively and offensively. Lewis now one in it. Laney Mertzak has Avery. And here comes an opportunity. Oh, she had Stella running. And now she's going to go up over the top for her. And she's going to have her. That's Stella get behind. Stella get in. Stella keep working. Oh, what a great, oh, nearly own goal. My goodness. So impressed with the work that Jordan Stecker's doing there, though, in the back. She's been called on often in this match. Quinn Williams getting ready to check in for the Raiders. And we got a player that's being sent off for, not sent off, going off. Looks like. Is there maybe an issue with the uniform? As Stecker's coming off, this is not a great thing for if, if you're the Warriors. Oh, oh she's bleeding. Yeah, bleeding from oh, she's elbow. bleeding on her elbow. She fell yeah. down and, and scraped her elbow up. That's not what you want for the Warriors ahead of a corner kick. One of your best players, <laughs> defenders, coming off. Okay, so let's see who comes in for her. Yeah, turf can be a bit unforgiving in that yeah. instance. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number 22, Quinn Williams. Into the game for Seven, Wausau, number 17, Let Landon Trader. Oh, Duffy got her head on it right there. Just trailed wide. Yeah, she just kind of kind of flicked it, and that was a ball that needed to be kind of driven, but it was just too high for her. So, goal kick, and this was a it's kind of a point of strength for Hudson, frankly, in the first half, mm -hmm. the goal kicks of Wausau. Especially Wasa. very early on, they positioned themselves really well. They played up. They wanted to challenge the uh, the back end of Wausau, any sort of uh, yep. defensive back that took that free kick. and Especially with the positioning, if it if it goes over, it'll roll all the way out, yep. kind of out of play, just as shown right there. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a better strategy, just blasting it out for a Hudson throw-in <laughs> rather than kicking it you know, 20 yards to goal from goal and letting Hudson win it. Because then that gives Avery or Laney a chance to play yeah. it. <laughs> or maybe Aubrey yeah. Ross, who got plenty of And then touches. if you're in transition, that's, that's those times where you're not as organized defensively, right? If you got a goal kick, you're trying to spread out yeah. to, to make the field big and give yourself a lot of space to play the ball. Well, if you immediately turn the ball over, then you're not, you don't have that compact defense, mm -hmm. defensive shape that you know that you're looking for when you're trying to to stop the Hudson the talented Hudson attack yeah, from scoring a really bad scramble yeah but now a good scramble is that stuff you get like at Thanksgiving time oh, with a bunch nice. of salt and garlic powder and some checks and oh, stuff oh, falls to Avery oh <laughs> it was on a platter and she just couldn't get her I think knee over it enough got under it right there oh I see I think I see the reason for the Raider success. Coach Scott Ellingson's joined him on the sideline, looking sharp in that uh, Carolina blue training top. White socks and Crocs. White socks and Crocs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw an episode of Vogue where they were talking about how that's the new thing. Ugh. You know, all the, all the uh, you know, I think Kanye's wearing white socks and Crocs now. and Only, only Ellingson can wear baby, I off. think, also wears that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't... I, I would only trust Scott Ellingson with that, would, with that stuff. Real talk. Real it's, talk. It's dad fashion, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, so we got a substitution in here. I think that's 16? number 16. Yep. yep. Check it, checking into the game for Wausau, number 16, Sophia Bell. So Bell in for Wausau. Now they're trying more of a driven goal kick, and that seems like it's doing okay. Elizabeth Schneider won it. Yeah, I like that. Go quick. Go quick. Find someone. Nope, that's actually good. Jordan Stecker getting back into the game for them. Checking back into the game for the Warriors. Number 11, Jordan Stecker. So that's, that's to me, important for Wausau. Stecker has done an excellent job here. Mm -hmm. And um, good turn. White carrying. Playing down the sideline to Schneider. She's behind Wistie. One runner in the box, though. Marked tightly by Wolfgram. Good job by Noel there. Not falling for the trickery. But it is a throw-in. And Schneider has looked dangerous here in the second half yeah. on that left flank. 
for the Warriors. Now White up and over. Coach Sloan calling for help, asking for the double team. It works as the Raiders win it to Grace Lewis. Deflected out there off of the shins of Katie Meyer, number seven, and it's going to be a Hudson throw in. Nice breeze. Beautiful the breeze. Is down too. Yeah, and it's, it's not that hot, hot, hot air. Oh, we got some fence fans. Remember last fall for yeah. so boys soccer when that's all we could get was fence fans? Mm -hmm. Oh, heavy touch from Williams. One back. Oh, unfortunate. Just nowhere. Yeah, just you could see what she was trying to do and just put it way too far out there. But uh, Wausau settled in here, and it's been a competitive opening start or uh, opening few minutes to the second half. Yep. The team talk seems to have worked. Oh, what a lovely spin move from Rosh there. It's also nice to have that energy from the bench as well. Yep. Good job defensively there, cutting off that through pass opportunity. Stella Duffy, she's got Laney Mertzek with time and space, running a goal, 35 yards out, right through the middle of the defense to her sister, takes a touch, composed, shoots, and another save. Another save from Denton. I don't know how Avery hasn't scored today. <laughs> Heck of a through pass, though. That's if you're Wausau, that is a the biggest red flag warning you could get when the two best players of the opposing team split your entire defense right into the box with not one only, pass. Not only that, too, I really like the play uh, from Avery to kind of sweep the rug out, mm -hmm. kind of stop. Yep, allow. and then she just needs to yep. pass it into the corner. Um, but again, Deaton, good positioning. Here's Jillian Brown with some time and some space, crossing in the middle, looking for Chuckle. Oh, gee, just beyond her. I thought Lauren was going to get there. Just tell us just going to let that run out for a corner, I guess. Another sub coming in for Wausau. Bob Burroughs down there in the corner from the uh, Hudson Star Observer. River Towns documenting with his camera. I'm sure he'll be talking to Coach Solomon after this game. What do you think Coach Solomon will be saying about the first 54 minutes, 55 minutes here? I don't know. Once this corner kicks over, we do have a score update from another region. Chuckle right towards the goal. Oh, good deflection by Deaton. That nearly went in. So at time of recording, this is obviously after, but at time of recording right now, 514 Central Standard Time, number one seeded Rice Lake has defeated fourth seeded Hayward in their region. That's a 4-0 win for Rice Lake and the Rice Lake Warriors, Warriors north of us. Rice Lake Warriors initially cleared out. One by Chuckle. Chuckle takes a, it looks like she took a shot there. Falls to Grace Lewis, kind of tries to settle it off her head. It eventually bounces and is cleared out by Elizabeth Schneider to White. White cutting it back on. Oh, good job. That's nice. Looking to build here. Oh, she just missed it, Elizabeth Schneider. Just missed it. And she had some space there behind Wisty. Here comes subs for both teams. Looks like Grace Hansen's coming in, and I can't tell who this is going to be for uh, Wausau at the moment. Yet not allowing a sub. That's interesting. Both teams were trying to sub, so I don't know what that was about. Oh, good turn. Really nice turn there. Schneider just sort of left it off, stepping back to grab it as Mertzak. So he was looking up the line there was Wisty for Lewis. Grace was kind of just holding there for a little square pass. And then just unfortunately played out frustrated there, Stecker. And now Grace Hansen's coming into the game as is player to be identified later. Here we go, squad. Let's go. Who we got here? Checking into the game for the Raiders, number 12, Grace Hansen. Great big throw. Ball bouncing in the box. Lauren Chuckle fighting hard for it. And now who's going to step up and win it? Who's going to step up? Nice job, Quinn, and just puts it. I don't, you know, I kind of like that idea. That's uh, number 10, it looks like, yeah, on I was the far just side. Say, 10. Checking into the game at the last stoppage for Wausau, number 10, Emma Steinbach. So it's a deep throw. I like that from Williams. I mean, it's 45 yards out. And, yeah. But, you know, sometimes when you're running, you got the momentum. Just kind of hit it hard and see what happens. And, and sometimes you see those go in. Into the wind's a little tough, though. Yeah. Bob Seeger would say against the wind. <laughs> Just 
Have we fulfilled kind of the idea of doing only 80s references? No, nothing at all. The say. first half was too good. Yeah. I was I was so engrossed. I mean, the, was such the a PA half, announcer yeah. was so under it, he forgot to do the last 10-second <laughs> countdown. <laughs> Giveaway here. Oh, Jillian Brown just looks like she knocked her down on a yellow card. Although... I also, don't think that was a yeah, purpose seemed, for a play. It seemed, yeah, it seemed like just a little bit of a close. As Jillian was trying to get after the ball, and it seemed like... But when you get um, one yellow card, you kind of put yeah, that target right. and start looking for it. No, oh, grab at her, though. She grabbed her and pulled her down. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. Jillian grabbed her for sure. dangerous free kick opportunity here for the Warriors. This is basically a corner kick. Who's going to take the set play for them? It's going to be number five, Erica Schneider. Senior. Dropping back. Playing it for White. A little behind her, unfortunately, for Wausau. Oh. It falls, though, to number 16. Over there to clean it up is Wolfgram. Clearing it out. There's a little bit of diffusion of responsibility right there. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the Hudson players in their own box not going up. You know, it looked there. like White just basically had a post up position there, and I think if the ball had been played to her right, she just was like alone on goal. Yep. And it was just it was kind of behind her. Missed opportunity there for the Warriors. Ooh. Oh, as White goes down hard. It looks like she was leaning a little bit. I don't think she got pushed, to be honest with you. The uh clearly oh, that looks like That's it's on sides. Nope. Official's gonna raise his flag. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say blow the yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna took a minute. Up, yeah. the whistle. Took a second for that center official to, to realize that the flag is up in check. Good call. So it's um everything to play for still here with uh, 30 mm -hmm. minutes left in the game. Yeah, Hudson trying to join their fellow Big Rivers Conference uh, school in Rice Lake. Trying to make sure there isn't two Warriors winning their regionals this today. Right. Avery side. attacking the defense. Just keep going. Yeah, go to goal. Go to goal. Go to goal. Go to goal. Shoot. Oh, and she Ooh. just got dumped. But nothing from the official. I mean, play, I mean she, play she, on the ball. she did yeah. kind of slot the ball yeah. through and then go down, but she still got dumped. Yeah. I know it's, it seems like there was a lot of early kind of, not touch fouls, but just there was a lot of fouls early, and, and that seems like it's, and died the, down a little here. And some of those early seemed like tone setters from from yes, the judges. Yes, I completely agree. Where they wanted it to, they wanted it to be known that they didn't want extra physical plays. Here comes an opportunity. Carlson off her line, all the way to the top of the eighteen, and just oh. plays it side footed and gives it away. We got a player unmarked in the middle of the box. Betty Wolfgram recovers to deflect the pass. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. Just picked the ball up. <laughs> Great play on the scoreboard. <laughs> Great play from Wolfgram. <laughs> Here comes a deep throw in for Wausau. They are looking hungry. They are asking questions of all aspects of this Raider team. But can Wausau make their own answers? Thrown from names. Find Schneider. Schneider. Easy pickup. Yeah, just rolling it to Carlson. That counts as a shot on goal. There it is, two, second one of the afternoon for Boom Wausau Booming punt. Oh, mm. just runs away a little bit from Chuckle, and it's an initial opportunity to maybe start a counterattack. Go, now, Avery. Avery Mertzak is just running past mm. people, all oh, looking to try and maybe slide it through from Grace. I think she should have just attacked that space on the dribble. She looks like she had a lot of acreage in front of her. Yep. Now Laney to Avery. Avery got three in front of her, sliding it through for Stella. Stella's Deep run was there, just a though, little yeah. bit late. I think if Stella sees that run earlier and is making that diagonal run, it's on. I think Avery played the pass where she wanted the run to be, or it maybe could have or should have been. Quinn Williams finding Avery Mertzak. Dropping it to Jillian Brown. Brown getting down the sidelines. Ooh, close. That, that's not... That, it, does it have to be the whole ball? That's whole over? ball over the whole then, line. Yeah, that's not, well, I mean, the, I mean, from our from my vantage point, I mean, the referees have the best look at it. I'm yeah. not gonna. But so who do we got close. here? Who's coming in for Wasa? A single two. digit and a double digit. You 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 get the single digit running towards us here. Is that yep. eight? It, yeah, it 
Probably eight. And then seven, is that 17 yep, on the 17 far side? On 17 on the far eight. side. Okay. Checking into the game for Wasa. Number eight, Mackenzie Bouch. And number 17, Landon Sch Schrader. Oh. Is Stella Duffy's hair blonder than usual? I don't know. I can't Doesn't tell. hair get lighter as the temperatures get warmer or when the sun's out? Here I'm comes sure. Laney out to Grace. Lewis. Lewis with one on her. Oh, right back to Chuckle. Chuckle. Oh, Oof. her first. She's so frustrated. She was looking to just touch it past on that first touch. That would and then it just really stuck on her foot. Yeah, yeah she had, she had the right the idea. Right and just sometimes the ball just sticks on your foot. Ooh. And then, again, to me, it looks like Jillian's on that and, and gets knocked down from behind. Nothing called there. And, and and the only reason I'd say it is the only reason I say it is it felt like Jillian was getting called for those fouls earlier in the in the game. Would I have to agree? Okay, we got another substitution here coming in for Wasa. And that is can we see? It's gonna come over here sliding over is that nineteen maybe? Sabrina Ramos? Is it ten? Love we'll to see if we can figure that out yeah. soon. Chuckle, take pick in the uh, pocket of the Wasa player. They're looking for the big cross. That was just nothing there. That's number 18? 18. Yeah, yeah. number 18. Checking into the game at the last stoppage for Wasa, number 18, Charlotte Bell. Avery Mertzak loved that first touch, or Laney, excuse me, loved the look to her sister just mm -hmm. a little bit beyond her. And we're going to have a foul here called on Avery Mertzak, just clipping the Wasa player. Free kick for Wasa. Grace Hansen wins the ball for Hudson. Back for Jillian Brown. Just looking to go big. Good pressure from Lewis. Nice job dealing with the pressure initially from uh, Stecker, but then played out for a Hudson throw-in, and Kira Young's going to check into the game here for Hudson. For uh, Lauren Chuckle, looks like. Checking into the game for the Raiders, number five, Kira Young. First touch, settles the ball, looking for options. Not much there. Lewis looking for Hansen. Basketball connection there. <laughs> oh, and then Wisty just misses it. And here comes a break opportunity for Wassa. Good job, Quinn Williams, just stifling that, slowing it down, throwing for the Warriors, but uh, there was a little bit of a maybe break opportunity. Yeah. Nice job, Hudson, shutting that down. Again, nice job by Quinn Williams stepping up to win that. Another Wausau throw in. Again, Williams. Again, Wausau. So what do you think about the first 20 minutes here of the uh, second half? Well, I think there hasn't been as many chances for Hudson, although it's pretty easily stated. Wausau West has had some really quality chances. Ooh, that's a tough shot right there to take to the face. But I think Wausau is been kind of up to snuff when it comes to playing as physical. Good job as coming Hudson back has. by Duffy and a great job finding Grace Hansen there. And then looking for Lewis. Lovely weight to the pass. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, Grace Lewis, nice job stopping it. Nice job getting a touch and winning a corner kick. Great work from Grace Lewis. And you know, besides uh, that Avery Merzek play where she got the ball in the box, played it back, mm -hmm. and had that really good look on goal, there hasn't been a a, a really quality chance for Hudson, at least in yeah. my opinion. Maybe my memory serves me wrong, but a chance here on the corner kick to maybe go up 3-0, at least maybe get a shot on net or kind of pressure Deaton, who hasn't had to face too much yep. here early on in the first uh, 21 minutes or so of the second yeah. half. 67th minute corner kick for the Raiders. They're just going to send one player over to take it, put a lot of bodies right at the near post, see what they're going to do with this, and then just play it towards Hansen over her head. Back to Brown, cleared out. Jillian Brown still on it. Gets the touch, cleared out by Wausau, uh, and just runs under the foot of the attacking player there. 
Jillian Brown looking up and over for Grace Lewis, and that's ball's going to bounce over the head, take a quite the spin. Back to Avery Mertzak. Avery with one player on her back, turns right past her like she's not even there. Settles, mm. shoots, deflected. You know, that's just the thing Good with Avery. Work. I mean, look, at that's Jordan Stecker, and she's mm -hmm. she's been one of the best players for Wausau and for, yeah, for Avery sure. to just turn her around and run away from her. Impressive work. Now in the 68th, another corner kick. Right into the box, looking for Stella, oh. looking for Quinn. I think that went off, yeah. That was one initially by Quinn, but off of a Wausau player stopping the clock. Stop. Yeah. There's and an injured player, 15. Looks like we got a uh, bloody nose. Yep. <laughs> Hope she's okay, but looks like she probably is just bleeding from the nose here, and we're going to have a couple substitutions coming in. Trainer Megan. Oh, she's backing up. Uh, yeah, just. Oh, boy. I'm hopeful she's just just a bloody nose and she's okay. Oh, now trainer Megan's coming over. She's got the gloves on, helping her out. Oof, ouch. Oh, was that a head collision? And we've got, I mean, yeah, not sure. But I don't know that it is because that potentially that other player would have to go off. Looks like we have a one substitution coming in now. Maybe is that white, I believe, 22. Check into the game for Wasta, number 22, Lexi White. So now here we go again. Hudson just trying these long corners, far post, unmarked. Quinn Williams stepped in front of Stella Duffy and just nods it wide. But they've they've got something there. Those those longer corners are working yeah. here for the Raiders. So West again with another giveaway in their own half. Yeah, yeah. Those those restarts are tough for West. They just don't have somebody who can boot the ball. Shield that, shepherd it. Nice, good play there from Stella. Watching it go out. Throwing for the Raiders. 69th minute of play. Jillian Brown cleared up by White. All right, and. I'm not sure. Coach Sullen was yelling something. Oh, then find Stella Duffy. And Stella's got some time and some space. Everybody flat-footed right there. Yeah. Stella looks to shoot there. Takes a deflection. Good job by Quinn Williams stepping it up. Winning the ball. Oh. Keep it in, Grace. Looks like that took a last touch. Oh, no, it was off of Grace last. So throw in for Wausau. Five's coming in for sure. And then trying to see who the other players that might be number ten. Starting to get to know him just from sight. <laughs> and the substitution patterns, but we'll see in a second here. Seven. seven, yeah. Checking into the game for Wasa. Number five, Erica Schneider, and number seven, Katie Meyer. Oh, takes a little bit of a bounce off the shin, maybe it looks like of Williams there for a Raider throw in. Quick take right there. Yeah. Ooh, and a foul sandwiched between two players was number 18, Charlotte Bell. Okay. Has there been a foul called on there, Wausau yet? There has, but I won't disagree in saying that the majority of them have been called on the home side. I mean, there was the time right here where Jillian was getting kicked from behind yeah. a few minutes ago, and it's, it's one of those things. One must wonder. Big free kick Ooh. right at goal. Good play, Abby. Carlson knocks it down, falls on it. Love to see number 18 Bell there right on top of it looking for that rebound. And good sportsmanship too from Bell yep, as well. Yeah, shot on goal there. Booming punt from Carlson. Lewis kind of posting up, flicking it, looking to flick to herself with the head and just runs out. Right idea though. Yeah. And trainer Megan's still working with that player over there on the bloody nose. So hopefully, I mean, she looks up, she's standing. She looks like she's fine other than obviously just possibly bleeding profusely from her orifice. Yeah, it just looked like she just wanted to get off the pitch so yeah. that it wouldn't cost too much of a delay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also probably was trying to not get blood on her jersey. Yeah, or on the pitch. Yeah. Oh, great great find there. And then you got Laney up top. 
Just kind of making a run, just make some sort of play. Blanketed by defenders. Grace Hansen, all right. oh, just play the advantage. With hesitation move. And then looking for Stella. Stella gets one touch on it, looking to get a second. Now sliding it through. Too many defenders, just too many bodies there. It's like, let's settle down, let's possess the ball. It's not there, it's okay. 20 minutes left. I I don't know that I've seen anything out of Wausau that makes it seem like they're really ready to get two. I mean, yeah, there is still plenty of time. Wausau's chances, though, I mean, they've had a couple, but just haven't been able to execute, and those chances have been a bit more few and far between, only three shots on net as yeah. we reach the 72nd minute. Good job by Maddie. Stepping in front of Bell. Falls to Avery. Okay. Turns. Okay. Oh, looking to find her sister. Oh, she does. Kind of had to recover there. Take a shot. Strike right away, it. Grace. Oh, you got to hit that Grace. You can't, can't be afraid of the moment. Like, that's what we're looking for. Good deflection, though. Wisty looking for a little bit of glory again, and that one's well away from goal. Spinning out, throw in Warriors. And they're going to be making another substitution in a moment here. And at least it pins them deep in their own territory on the throw and almost kind of like punting it right. away. Right, right. See if Hudson can win the ball back here with a little bit of high pressure. Good teamwork there. Oh. Off the shin of Williams and then can, no problem for Abby there. Just clears it out confidently. Oh. Ooh. Looking for a little spin there was Avery. A little too much. Got away from her. <laughs> oh, that's on the hand. Wasa well, calling for the handball, but I mean, it's up for a throw in. And I think it was probably incidental, so possibly also out of, out of play. Yep. Maddie Tuckian calls Coach Solon. Wolfgram there, bell pressuring. Wolfgram just clears it up and out. Another throw in. For Wausau, and this looks like looks like it's going to be subs from both teams. Looks like Aubrey Ross coming in, and then we'll have to see who it is for Wausau. Is that 16 or 18? Checking into the game for the Raiders, number 15, Aubrey Ross. I don't think it's 18. Huh? 16. That's a goal. That's, oh, a goal. Wow. That's a goal. That's a goal. That's a goal for Wausau. And they are right back in the game. Who scored it? Was it 21? Can't yeah. tell. 21? Pretty sure it was. Goal yeah. for Wausau, scored by number 21, Allison Rush. In the 74th minute of play, Rush for Wausau. Warriors 1, Raiders 2. No assist. Was that an assistant? <laughs> Checking into the game with the previous stoppage for Wausau. Was it 18 or 16? Number 16, Sophia Bell. Into the game for the Raiders, number 21, Lauren Chuckle. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a game. A heck of a shot. Far post, looping up, almost chipping the goalie. Stella looks to keep it in, and it is out. It was a, a beautiful shot. I mean, she just... Abby Carlson was fully extended... I don't know what else she yeah, could have I done. Mean, That's a great goal. Perfectly placed. And Wausau has everything to play for with 17 minutes, 16 minutes left. Keep up that press is the call. Ooh. Wolf Graham just clears it out. I wonder if she maybe could have just played feet of a teammate. The Let's Go Warriors chant coming from the Wausau fans. Great turn there by number five, Schneider. Trying to cut it back on uh, Jillian Brown. Jillian working to try and prevent a corner kick, unable to do so. It's going to be a set play. Wausau in the game. Biggest corner kick of the season. Right now, Suns in Abby's eyes. Tough spot here for the goalkeeper for the Raiders. They're going to be able to play right in front of her. Smart move like that. Driving it right towards kind of that six yard box. Cleared out by the Raiders. One by Mertzek. Looking for Duffy.
Costello oh, wins it. Good physical play. Now it's just attacking. Just go to go to the corner. Oh, good job cutting it back. Looking to center it for Grace Lewis. Stecker's there. Aubrey Ross wins the header initially. Brown. Back to Carlson. Carlson up and out. And that's just going to run out for a throw in. Better be safe than sorry. The Wausau fans are wound up. The Wausau bench is wound up. The Wausau players are wound up. Can it be harnessed? Right. Final quarter of an hour. Good chance. It's going to find its way to Lauren Chuckle. Settles it nicely with some pressure to the feet of Grace Lewis. Takes a touch, looking for Stella Duffy, trying to play. There's just no need for that right now. There's just no need for that right now. Hold the ball, you're winning. Don't just give it away. Hard little fall. And a foul called on Aubrey Ross. Free kick for the Warriors. Jillian tuck in, yells Coach Solom, right? The dangerous part of the field is the center part of the field. If they want to kick it out wide, that should be Abby all the way. Took a nasty bounce. Yeah. Took a high bounce right on the goal line. Saying Coleman collected there right. from Carlson, backing up to make the right play. Right, and also, good job being that tall. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a moment where that height is an advantage. Oh, Skill, and here comes Lauren teach. Chuckle. What are you going to do? Looking for Lewis. Go for it, go for it. And it's a it's a three on five though. Number numbers back for Wausau here. So just settle. There we go. Grace now gets around one. She's got the corner. Second nice. defender stepping over, takes a deflection, corner kick for the Raiders. Great turn there from the sophomore. Kendall Ross getting ready to check in, as are two players that that's gonna be white, and I'm not sure here for Oh, and uh, Schneider. Elizabeth Schneider. Checking into the game for Wausau, number six, Elizabeth Schneider, and number 22, Lexi White. Into the game for the Raiders, number two, Kendall Ross. So, Wausau with just about everyone back defensively, right? They absolutely, oh, oh Duffy, Williams, both struck it well, both found defenders in their way. Avery Mertzak to Quinn Williams. Quinn picks her head up. She's got great Lewis, Grace Lewis wide. She's looking for Lauren Chuckle down the middle. Intercepted expertly, finds Elizabeth Schneider. Schneider now carrying to the middle of the field, looking to switch fields. Well done by Kendall Ross, stepping in to win it, finds Avery Mertzek. Mertzek now on the attack, dribbling past one defender, looking to get past maybe two, sliding it through for Silla Duffy, looking for her. Off her line is Deaton. Big collision, ball still loose, Deaton on top of it. Whistle blown. Referee having a discussion with everyone, making sure everybody's okay. Everyone is. Cradling the ball is Deaton, bravely off her line, and it's going to drop it, looks like, and game on. Exciting moments here in Hudson. Poked away by Lexi White. Finds Lady Mertzek. She got one on her. Over to Chuckle. Chuckle's got some time. Takes a touch. Picks her head up. Nothing there. No real options. It's got Stella Duffy wide. Stella cuts it back in. She got Avery Mertzek in the middle. Stella's just going to carry. Stella's going to shoot. Takes the deflection. Finds Grace Lewis. Grace just settles and shoots on frame, on goal, in the hands of Kenzie Deaton. The sophomore's done well. Would have to agree. I mean, she's made some saves that we haven't seen a lot of keepers make against this Hudson squad. Yeah. Oh. And she's the reason why it's 2-1 and not something, you know, like it gets to a point where it's 4-0 or 3-0 right. and it becomes a little bit deflating to stay in the match. Yeah, delicate balance here for Wasa. There's a lot of time left, 11 minutes. They can't give up another goal. Yeah, absolutely. So that they, they, they that, need to. that would definitely be a dagger. I mean, I know that two-goal leads are dangerous, yeah. but when you get into kind of the latter stages, it becomes really tough to climb. Yeah. Right, and it's like we're, we're not quite pulling the goalie yet if you're Wasa. Yeah. Well, that's a good physical battle. White leaning in, Mertzek. Coming out with the ball, finding Lewis. Lewis crossing to nobody, just settled. Yeah. Oh, it falls right to Avery. This is her chance. Ooh. Oh, and it takes a deflection. I thought that was going to be it. God, I thought that was going to be it. She's had that. She's just <laughs> been knocking perfectly. on the door all day. And she struck that one as well as she struck any of them. Possibly better. Hugely important deflection there. Yep. Brave defending. All right. We're going to have the two players set up again. We'll see what the Raiders choose to do. They go short. Elizabeth Schneider pressures. 
Chuckle on the ball. Shooting oh. it towards frame. Deaton just has to punch it away. It's too strong for her. It's still not cleared out. Lauren Chuckle steps up to win it. Grace Luce is on the ball. Back to Lauren Chuckle. Lauren Chuckle oh. shoots it. Another huge save from Deaton. Standing on her head is the sophomore for the Warriors. One of the best chances of the half. One of the best chances of the game. <laughs> the short corner worked last time. Going to set it up again this time. But Wausau still continuing to just send one player. They're going to substitute two, but they won't send two here. Taken quickly. Schneider steps over. Knocks it out. Another corner kick. Well played there by Elizabeth Schneider. Yep. Great moment as the two Wausau players on the sideline, arms around each other, picking each other up, ready to head in. Chuckle in the middle towards Williams. One out initially, and then cleared by White, throw in for the Raiders. Three substitutions are going to be made by the Warriors. At the next stoppage, we're in the 81st, now 82nd minute of play. Slowly over to take it is Noel Wisty. If you're Hudson, time is your friend. The more you waste, the more you kill, the less time they have to get into the game. Holding the ball is Mertzak turning, past one, past two, takes the deflection, still powering, <clears throat> drives the ball off of the defender, another corner kick. This is exactly what Hudson wants. The more time the ball is down here, the less time Wausau has to threaten their goal. Chuckle over to take it. Avery Mertzak over to join her. Elizabeth Schneider defending. Mertzak dropping back a little bit. And Chuckle's just going to play it into the box. Chuckle drives it towards goal. Chuckle drives oh! it into the net. That's a goal. Oh, oh my God, that's a goal. 82nd minute of play. That's got to be it. Goal for the Raiders. Scored in the 82nd minute of play by number 21, Lauren Chuckle. Chuckle unassisted for the Raiders. Hudson three. Wausau one. <laughs> oh my wow. goodness. That was amazing. Yeah. Adam said that's the best he's seen all year. I mean, that's a fantastic goal. And Skull improbable. directly from the corner. What a sharp angle to take that from. Yep. Right from the corner. And if you take a look at the other side of the corn here, I mean, uh, I'm not in the player's head, but, I mean, that's yeah. got to be a little bit deflating for Wausau West. Checking into the game for Hudson, number four, Jillian Brown. I mean, you do all that work, you keep it close. Into the game for Wausau, number 13, Kayla Molliver. Number 21, Allison Rosh. And number 15, Abigail Names. But, I mean, just a really tough goal to give up. I mean, I think for Deaton, too, I mean, there's not a whole lot well, that's to a be done. Oh, no. Say she got the ball. Lady Mertzak carrying, waiting for that moment, playing it to Lewis. Now, just be patient. You're winning by two. Just hold the ball. Just hold the ball. Find your teammates. Hold the ball. Simple passes here now. Ross stepping in, winning it, turning, looking for options. Just hold the ball here. Really impressed. Really good work there by number 21, Allison Rosh. Wausau's played well. Yeah, absolutely. With a, with a lot less chances, with yep. a team that is highly ranked coming into their stadium as a lower seed, not expected. Yep. I mean, if you're going to go by chalk, not expected to beat D.C. Everest, a good run for them, and they've played a good match. Oh, talk to her, Carlson. Talk to her, Carlson. That's your ball. Let her know. We're going to have substitutions coming in here for the Raiders. I think there's going to be a lot of substitutions coming in for the Raiders. Looks like, uh, is that Keisha Johnson or is that Grace? That's Keisha, isn't it? Yeah, Keisha and, and Carson, uh, right? Carson Spencer, yeah. No, that is Grace. That's 12. Checking oh. into the game for the Raiders. Number 12, Grace Hansen. And number 14, Carson Spencer. Good catch before you said it. <laughs> I was like, that just doesn't look like Keisha. Actually, I thought it kind of did initially, but... Uh, Carlson, well, the, the key is the one cleats. By White. That's right. how I knew where Paul was all the yeah. time with boys soccer. <laughs> right? Oh, what a good ball by White there. Just kind of splitting the defense. Good recovery from Wolfgram. Now Kendall Ross, who's out there for her? Who's helping her? Get, oh, she got some time. Okay, I thought there was pressure yeah. coming initially. There we go. Nice and easy. Just find feet. Just find feet. Up oh. over the top. Oh, well-placed ball. Well-placed ball. And then chuckle right back to her. Looking Ooh. for the cross. Deflected right off of the defender. 
And then a quick turn from Stella, looking to turn. Great job defensively. Really good work from uh, Stecker again. Keep calling her name. Oh, because she's making plays out there yeah. for Wausau West. 85th minute of play here. Time running short for Wausau to find a way. So throw Eddie Wolfgram. Yeah. To take the throw in. Looking for Duffy. So 86th minute of play here. Hudson leading 3-1. Could be the most unique combination of types of goals. Oh, great job. Mm -hmm. Carson centering it. Finding... Oh, oh, and another huge save by Deaton. Could be the most unique combination of goal types. We had the lovely through ball from um, Laney, or excuse me, Avery Mertzak to Laney mm -hmm. for the finish. We had the Noel Wisty cross that was through the legs of Deaton and then we just had Lauren Chuckle scoring direct off a corner kick. And, and you know, here's the thing. Credit whoa, to Hudson. Whoa, don't go oh, geez. The park. Oh, geez. Saved. I've... What a fantastic effort from Erica Schneider. I don't think Maddie knew she was coming and nobody said anything. I was going to say there needs to be some communication there in that case. Right, I she mean... want Maddie to know that she's there, but how about the other eight or nine players say, hey. <laughs> Somebody just yell something. You know, man on. Yeah. Stella Seven looking there, to turn. Still Got keeps it. it in. Nice. Keep it in. Just carry it in the corner. Just carry it in the corner. corner. Just carry it into the corner. Centering it. Finding Carson Spencer. Takes one touch. Too many bodies there for her. But that's going to fall to Laney Mertzak. She's got time. Gets it out from underneath her. Shoots. Looking right into the uh, old bread basket of Deaton. Great job by the goalkeeper getting her body behind the ball and not giving up a rebound. <laughs> Ooh, Jillian Brown misses it. Some dicey moments here at the end of the uh, second half, end of the game for the Raider defense. Good job, Wausau, putting pressure on him. Dropping it back. Looking to build up, Ooh. giving it away, right away. Avery to Lauren. Lauren back to Laney. Laney with time and space. Out wide to Carson Spencer. Let's it run under. Just carries into the corner, gets to the end line, looking to keep it in, unable to do so, goal kick. Which, unfortunately, has not been a great weapon for the Warriors here. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them have stayed low and kind of within 40 yards of goals. Yes. Here comes a restart. We've got two and a half minutes left. For Wassa to find a way. Elizabeth Schneider on the ball. Oh. Takes a knock from Lauren Chuckle. Quick yeah, restart. Can't play Chipping it up over like the that. top. White making the run. White saw the space. White getting after it. White collides with Wolfgram. And we're going to call the foul on White. White slow getting up. There have been some heavy collisions tonight. Mm hmm. And, uh, well, teams have not been afraid to be physical. Yeah, and and and, tr and truly, it's it's been just players giving their maximum effort. And there's times when you're both going for the ball, and you're just going to bump into each other. And it's yeah. not there's been nothing untoward or, or unsportsmanlike about it. It's just been players playing hard, and you like to see that. There's Keisha. Keisha is in. Did I miss it? I'm a terrible person. I was right. It was Keisha. No, God. I thought it was Grace. I'm too. a terrible person. I feel so bad. <laughs> Into the game at a previous stoppage for the Raiders, number 13, Keisha Johnson. Got a couple of claps there. A couple claps. A couple of claps for figuring it out. <laughs> you know, courtesy applause for the uh, Yahoo and the PA system. Ooh. Big win. Cleared out. And oh, we're going to have a foul here called yeah. on Wisty. We've got one minute left to play. Um, it's Al Michaels' territory now for Wausau. Played into the box. Carson picks it up. 
God, I said Carson. Carlson. Good lord. I was like, that's it's, not it's right. It's close. It's close. It's not Carson Spencer. It was Abby Carlson. As we're in the final minute of play, Hudson leading by a score of three to one. A, a spirited game, an entertaining game, a well and hard fought game, and it looks like the Raiders are going to be advancing to play in the sectional semifinal on Thursday. If the next hold, 40 yeah. seconds play out without two Wausau goals. Nice job keeping it in there by Stella. And just force them to play back. Kill time. 20 seconds left. 25 seconds. I, mean, I guess before we Schneider go. splitting. Here comes the chance. Can they do oh. something with it? Uh, it's going to be the last chance right there. They're picking it up. Picking it up at the last second. There we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And that's the game with the Raiders defeating the Warriors by a score of 3 to 1. Congratulations to both teams on a well played match. And fans, please stay tuned for the presentation of the regional trophy. Raider players, if you could please gather at midfield for a brief ceremony. First, we'd like to recognize and congratulate the Wausau West Warriors on a fantastic season and a well played game today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Wausau West Warriors. And now, Hudson Athletic Director Aaron Moen is here to present Coach Steve Solom with the Regional Championship Trophy for 2021. Congratulations to the Hudson Raider girls soccer team for your regional championship. The Raiders will be hosting the sectional semifinal match this coming Thursday. Congratulations, Raiders. So that's the, uh, that's the game, that's the trophy. On to the section semifinals for Adam Tilson, for Brian Mose. This has been Chuck Bublitz. Thanks for joining us belatedly on YouTube, and we will see you on Thursday. Mr. Mose, thanks for being here. Of course.